All right. Um, I totally did not pay attention to which map this was. Chat can tell me. Please let me know. I'm, I'm like failing on my duties here. I'm not too familiar with this map. I'm not sure what it is uh, based on what I see. So we do see the ace match. They're going to put in Bonneth versus Zeus again. It's going to be another PvP. The bottom right hand corner, the Korean Protoss is going to be Zeus. Can he finish this out the series for his team? Can he get the revenge for the game one loss against Bonneth? Why are you spoiling, turret? Why are you spoiling? Everybody shame turret in chat. Spoiling the games. Anyhow, so we're going to see this PvP. We're going to see if we see that early aggression from Bonneth again, or if he's going to go for a little bit of safer standard build. Uh, he might try to go for the early Reavers instead and try to abuse uh, the high ground areas on this map. The Sniper Ridge does have those... Uh, awkward swastika high ground areas you can do a lot of abusing with uh early dragoons you can do a lot of abusing with the reavers if you get early map control let's see what he decides to do uh very aggressive pylon this again leads me to believe that he might be going for the double gate again we'll have to see he does go for the gas actually so it is going to be uh at least a, a mildly less aggressive build maybe he'll go for the uh Two gate dragoon maybe he'll go for three gate pressure we'll have to see uh pretty even timings on these assimilators a little bit faster for bonneth but not a huge deal and he's gonna be scouting early on we see that zeus actually isn't scouting at all so far cybernetic score coming down cybernetic score coming down wow what a surprise pvp it's so interesting there's such a wide variety of builds just kidding just kidding I, I do, my problem is, though, with this matchup is there's really not a lot to talk about in the early game. Like, in TBT and, like, uh, or sorry, like, with Terran and Zerg, like, you can, you can talk about, like, oh, is he gonna go for an early pool? Like, or, like, how many, how many Marines is he gonna make? But, you know, not really much to talk about in, uh, PvP besides, like, did he make a Zealot? Did he skip the Zealot? Oh! I could be wrong, but... What I'm talking about, these ridges are so good for Dragoon vs. Dragoon Wars. Though so I expect to see some pretty early pressure coming out from both players, honestly. We do see the first of the Dragoons coming out. By the way, if my observing is a little bit too quick, I can slow it down. Um, one thing I've always noticed is that you should never uh, observe the same way that you play. So, like, you just need to, like, go slow and chill out. Not saying that I'm a fast player or anything, but you need to chill out. So we do see probably an, another uh, pylon over there, just a spot. Maybe some hidden tech if he can uh, get early map control and get good scouting information in his opponent's main. So far, no tech coming down at all. See a similar pylon coming down for Zeus. Um, and I'm, I'm confused. Maybe they're both going to be going for this one gate expansion. I'll have to see if they decide to add on the extra gateways or go for some kind of tricky play. So this... Uh, nice moving shot on that probe is going to be picking it off and all the scouting info is in bonnet's favor right now and he might actually go for that triple gate yeah there's the triple gate i was talking about triple gate obviously very strong in this map if your opponent goes for the fast expansion you get um you can definitely break it with a triple gate plus it's also very good with these ridges you can uh easily win early dragoon versus dragoon wars if you have the map control um, even if your opponent has more Dragoons, you just can kite back, get to the next ridge, kite back some more, etc, etc. So, uh, very aggressive play coming in from Bonneth. I like it. I think it's great. And we do see the Robo facility coming down from Zeus. He is going to be going for this, uh, oh, maybe not fast Reavers, but... Uh, He's at least going to be going for the fast robo, maybe getting the observers. I think since his scouting information got denied, he's going to want to go for those observers a lot earlier. Um, definitely go for those over the fast reavers. But here it is. Here's the ridge. Got control of the ridge. Uh, this, the number of dragoons in Bonnet's army is going to spike really hard pretty shortly. We're going to have to see if Zeus plays it safe or if he's actually going to go for a greedy fast expansion. Uh, not even fast expansion, but a great expansion off of this robotics facility. You do see the Observatory 
bit of a weird spot. A good trade so far for Zeus. Zeus definitely the the better Dragoon player in this matchup, and he actually he kills off quite a few of these. Uh, I wonder if this is just uh, being very complacent, knowing that he has, uh, knowing that Bonneth has the Dragoon advantage, just being complacent in trying to save all those Dragoons. But Zeus again getting the better end of that trade, and he's gonna be able to um, whittle away this count of Dragoons quite a bit. So even though we do have this triple gate. Uh, coming out from Bonneth, he's not going to have a lot of resources to actually break the natural coming out. But Zeus is not taking any chances. He's going to get safe. He's putting down that extra gate, getting the support base so he can get out that fast reaver. I'm a bit surprised he actually... Um, okay, never mind. He did get the observer, so not crazy. Only got one observer, though, because he knows this is a triple gate. He knew the, the unit count was way too high to be anything like fast DTs or anything like that. So... Zeus in a good position. He's going to be taking this expansion. It's going to be very difficult to break it with the rather low count of Dragoons Bonathas and the first Reaver popping out. But if he makes a play right now he, and snipes a couple of Dragoons, he could definitely take this low round. We're going to have to see if he gets gets in here and gets that done. Still only on three gates. He's, he's playing very passively. He really needs to get in here and start sniping things. He got one Dragoon, but uh, unfortunately just barely missed the second one. Do you see that the Reaver's coming down the ramp now. He's going to be able to cancel this expansion, taking his own in the background. So, very nice play from Bonneth, playing very aggressively um, in this series. He played aggressively in game number one, he's playing aggressively now. And it's paying off, because even though Zeus is the better... Um, even though I think Zeus is the better micro player, honestly, uh, just having this early lead and being able to get the map control is helping Bonneth out so much. So we do see the Robo's facility coming out right now um, while also getting that expansion. This is again one of those times where we have to we have to pay attention to when is it time to leave as the uh, Bonneth. Like as the aggressor, you have a time limit on this aggression. At some point, your opponent is going to be able to get more units than you are, and even the best concave is not going to be enough to deal with it. I like this positioning of these uh, couple of Dragoons just to try to make sure that no sort of crazy drop play comes in. We do see that the two uh, Reavers are out right now, and they're going to be able to slowly break down this ramp. And this is about the time that you really need to leave. As the aggressor, you just have to leave see control of that natural to your opponent you know you're going to be ahead like you've got a nexus and they don't so you're going to be ahead in economy just back off play it safe get your tech up um, get more units up and just be ready to absorb the counter blow and i uh, love the positioning here on the high ground this is what i was talking about if you get aggressive with the early dragoons then you can start taking control of these ridges and then you just kite back you go to the next ridge the next ridge next ridge so on and you end up getting a lot more value out of these units than you normally would on a flat map. So, very well played so far. The one thing that Bonneth really does have to be aware of is any sort of Reaver drop. Now that he knows there's two Reavers out, he really honestly should have... Um, he's got a couple in his natural, so... Looks like he's he's aware that drop play might be coming in his natural. I honestly wouldn't mind having a Dragoon or two here as well, just to uh, bot any drops into the main as well. Here comes the shuttle. With only one Reaver, he actually kept one back at home to uh, help with the defense in case there was any sort of a bust. So, smart play so far. You see he's scouting it out with the Observer, but the Observer has been observed itself. And this is what I was talking about. You have two Dragoons here, it's everything's fine. It is going to be scouted by this Pylon. He does have one Dragoon popping out right now, and this could be a huge hit! Okay, whoo, only, only one goes down. Oh, oh god, that, that was so scary there for a second. But speed is now finished, and these shuttles are so fast. Bonneth pulling back already. He's he's not going to risk being caught out against speed shuttle and drop play at a big push across the map. So very smart for him to go ahead and retreat across the map, not get too greedy here. He's going to be able to snipe this observer. He's going to be able to do a little bit of damage to it. It's going to make it easier to snipe if it ever comes back. So nicely played so far from Bonnet. He's really in complete control of this game. He's getting up the extra gateways. He's getting his own Reavers and Speed Shuttle. So he's in pretty good shape, not gonna lie. 
not gonna lie. Looks like we might actually be going to a late game. Both players are pretty stable. And we see the Citadel of Doom coming down now from Zeus, probably one coming down from Boneth pretty shortly as well, as they both transition into that Templar tech. Ah, oh, stretch of the wrist. Is... Is this still streaming? How did I drop to zero viewers from 30? It's super weird. Okay, anyways, so... We're going from Citadel of Doom from both players. We got pretty big packs of units. It looks like Zeus is actually set up to take a third. This is going to be pretty nice. Lots of gateways coming down. The extra gateways. Okay, maybe not. Maybe not. I got excited. There were there were a lot of things building at the time. <laughs> Templar Archives coming down on the forge. So There's going to be six gateways versus five currently. A little bit of a lead for Zeus um, in the re-macro department. Looks like he is going to be taking this uh, third. Harassment shuttle coming out. Uh, hopefully he sees this third, sees that it might be going down. This is uh, this is getting a little greedy from Bonnet. Yeah, that was that was really greedy. He honestly should have maybe done like one shot and then picked it up and immediately ran over here. But like a little bit, a little bit too aggressive with that shuttle, and it's gonna it's come, gonna come back to bite him because he has no more map control. Uh, he lost one of his reavers. So there's gonna be a lot of pressure coming across the map right now, and this is so annoying to deal with because you have these uh, open mains. Difficult to deal with drops and a frontal push at the same time, especially before you have storms. So this is a very difficult position to be in for Boneth. But if he can defend this uh, initial pressure, he's going to be in good shape. We do see the double reaver drop. This is this is going to be brutal. This is a lot of units coming across the map right now, and not a very good setup from Boneth so far. But the zealots are behind the dragoons, but he's managed to push push this back right now. He just has a lot of units right now. And, and actually, both the shuttles get picked off. Oh my god. Wait, no, just one. Okay, whew. If he had lost both of those shuttles, that would have been like just game. But he does lose a Reaver and two Zealots plus a shuttle in the main. Bit of a mistake there. Templar Archives going down right now. Um, and Storm is, and plus one are actually halfway finished for Zeus. So he's going to have a much stronger uh, later portion of the game. And there's also a Nexus going down. But this is a huge army moving across the map right now. Boneth is, uh, has a beastly army. And he's going to be able to get some nice shots with these Reavers. Storms are out right now, but they're, they're not, they're not getting, there's no storm. There's no storm. Did he finish it? Storm just now finished. He doesn't have mana. He only just now has mana. Oh my gosh. Bonnet has done it. He's done it. He's completely broken Zeus. And that's gonna that's honestly gonna be the GG. There's nothing left here. There's only a couple of units over here. He's got a, a DT in hopes that maybe uh, there won't be detection here with Bonnet's army, but Bonnet is ready. He's gonna pick off these uh, He's gonna try to pick off these pylons and open it up, but it doesn't even matter. He just has so many units. Look at all these dragoons, and there's only gonna be zealots? Are you kidding me? That's it. There's the GG, and the foreigner team wins 3-2 in match one. Not exactly what we expected from the series. Usually when we talk about foreigners versus Koreans, it's always the Koreans, but man, bringing it hard to the Koreans are the foreigners. Oh my gosh, Boneth, you god. That was that was seriously impressive. Uh, you know, huge <laughs> huge mistake by Zeus to forget the storm, but even without the storm, his army was so much smaller than Boneth. I think Boneth honestly could have just overrun it anyway. But really well played. Holy crap. I cannot believe we see at the end of week 1, the foreigner team is going to be taking it with a 3-2 lead. And we're gonna see how this goes in future events. It's gonna be awesome.